ever watched a four by four relay team? And how does that apply to politics? Well, let's talk about that today. I'm Dr. Lisa Ann Chung, a political leadership strategist, author of the book, Political Change, and president for Kenley College, where we provide leadership training and strategy for new and aspiring politicians. Politics is like a four by four relay. Think about it. On average, you're in office for four years. Now, some people will be in office longer, some people will be in office less, depending on how your terms work with what level you're operating at, and of course, the country you're running in. But on average, you're dealing with four years. Believe it or not, I used to run track. I used to run track back in high school, and I was one of the people on the 4 by 4 team. Now, when I was on this team, I learned something, and it actually applies to politics. One of those things is never underestimate the people you're running against. There was a member on our team who was full bodied. That's a nice way of putting it. In the Bahamas, we used to call it big boned. Nonetheless, the people who never saw this team member run before often would laugh at our team. As far as they knew, we were guaranteed to lose. They were so focused on what they thought they knew about this one team member that they figured there was no way she could possibly outrun the obviously faster and fitter members of the other team. There was an additional element of surprise in that she would often run the final leg of the race. She was our lightning bolt back then. And when she reached the finish line, she had left the other runners way at the back, still in the race. No performance enhancing drugs there. If we compared how athletes should be treated when they use performance enhancing drugs with candidates in an election who cheat, what should be happening? Automatic disqualification. Whether it's not underestimating your opponent or definitely preparing for that element of surprise, know that the race is not over until it's actually finished. You are not guaranteed by any means to win just because you seem to have entered the race as the stronger candidate. The race can be so much tighter than you expected. And that means that even after the race is finished, the results are too close that it leads to the need for a recount. On a four by four relay team, everyone has their own leg to run. And it doesn't matter how weak or how strong an athlete is, the team has to work together. There's something quite interesting about a four by four team because everybody on that team has a chance to take the team to the next level. And yes, we make a really, really big deal about that final leg, you know, bringing it home. But if someone in one of the previous legs did something wrong, maybe they got out of their lane, it could negatively impact the entire team. It's a team effort. You know, if you run the 400 by yourself, if you run the 100 meters, if you even run the 200 meters as an individual, everything's riding on you. You start and you finish that race. But when you're on the four by four relay team, it's a team effort. You're working with other people. You got to coordinate with them, how you hand over that baton, how you run. It's not just about you because it's the team. If one person drops the baton, the whole team is impacted. And even as an independent candidate, you still have a team usually to work with. They're the people that you might pull in as volunteers to help you. And their job is to help you cross that finish line. When you think about it, that four by four relay team doesn't just impact the team. It has a wider national impact. The actions of each runner in the 4x4 relay, especially if you're looking at it being the Olympics or the World Championships, will impact not just the team, but the entire nation. And it might be a good thing because it can rally the nation and bring people together. It can unify the nation who are cheering on their national team. Now, I know a lot of people love sports and they put a lot of emphasis on how players have played in a match or a game. But you know, this isn't just about sports. This is about politics. And I'll always say politics impacts your life. Whether you like it or not, it impacts your life.
And so as a leader, it's important that you understand your role in this game. It's important that you understand your role in people's lives through politics. In this race called politics, it doesn't matter where you are. You might be the one who's bringing it on home. You might be the one who is at the beginning of the race. You're just starting out. You're that new or aspiring politician. But it's important that you know your leg well. You know the people that you're here to serve well. And you're in right alignment with a few things. One, where are you to be positioned? Two, who are you working with? Three, who may be competing against you? And four, who are you running for? The people, the nation. You have to stay so focused on the end. You know that vision that I always talk about? So that no matter who is around you, no matter what the people on the same level may be trying to do to you, you know you're running your best race. And that can only happen when you realize this is not just about you. This is not just even about the people on your immediate team, maybe your campaign team, maybe it's a cause, maybe it's a department, or even your party. It's about the wider impact of how you run but more importantly, how you lead. If you're looking to get into the race of politics, I'd advise you, get a copy of my book, Political Change. You'll learn about how principled, purposeful leaders are leading unprecedented change in their nations so that you understand what you can do to make that happen as well. There's even a template inside of it to help you work through your own political change action plan. And if you're looking for a program, you say, I want to do some training. Well, we've got you covered, not to worry. At Kenley College, we offer an accredited certificate in government and political leadership program. Now, you might want to find out more about how to get the book or how to sign up for that program. I'll put a link to both of them in the description box. Well, that's it for today, folks. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.